In a cave lit by flickering candlelight, a man cuts through some spider's web and removes an artifact. Outside, some tri people are revering the artifact. Several men are driving away in a jeep quickly. One of them is injured, but they state that they did the right thing. A young girl approaches her dying mother, who tells her that they took her. The man's injury is worsening, and he is shot by another man, who tells him that this is the only way. Kara is driving through the night with her kids in the car. She explains to her son Jesse that she had no choice but to take this job, as things will be better for them all as a family. Walter is examining a pot. He hears a noise and struggles to his feet to investigate. It's only his friend Akiba who gives him an artifact, the black egg of Makarati. He explains that looking inside is like looking into the darkness of your own soul. He brings this in order to avenge Walter's wife, who died of malaria, but he thinks that she was cursed by the tribe. Akiba informs Walter that a gift of this magnitude requires a trade, but Walter tells him to leave. Akiba is furious as he has helped Walter find many treasures. One must make a blood offering to the black egg. Akiba has already made his, and now Walter must too. Kara arrives with their family. She is to be Walter's carer. She goes to meet Walter who shows her around. Akiba follows behind. Jesse makes some lunch for his sister Cambria, but she gives it to a stray cat. Kara leaves a baby monitor with Walter and tells him to call her if he needs anything during the night. She leaves him and inspects his medicine in the bathroom. She appears to have some kind of flashback. Akiba picks up the black egg and curses the god of the tribe before throwing it to the floor and breaking it. Inside, a spider emerges. Kara hears the noise and goes to investigate. She sees Akiba, who seems to be in pain, and grabs at her asking for help. Walter appears with a gun and demands he leaves. Kara wants to call the police, but Walter tells her that many of his artifacts are not legal. He assures her that Akiba won't be back and she and her children are safe. In his van, Akiba has a wound on his arm that causes him such pain that he passes out and crashes in his van. Walter is at home studying some notes and reading books about demons. Kara is in the bathroom examining tablets, but is unaware of the giant spider above her. Cambria asks if their brother Stevie will find them there, as they never told him that they were leaving. Jesse is sure it will be okay. They both miss him. Kara arrives home, but hears a rustling in the trees behind her. She looks back, but just dismisses the sound. Her kids are already asleep, so she takes a tablet and goes to bed. The next morning, Jesse takes Walter's file before sneaking into his house and looking around. He pockets an artifact before he's caught by Walter for snooping and made to leave. Kara is at the pharmacy picking up Walter's prescription. Cambria is outside looking for the cat, but cannot find it. Kara stops at a red light and becomes aware of a woman in a car next to her. The little boy in the back clearly puts her in mind of her son Stevie who died in a car crash. The car drives off and Kara tries to compose herself with the help of more tablets. The cat is hunting a mouse when a giant spider drops down and kills it. That night, Cambria is lying in a bed frightened because of some noise coming from outside. She sees the shadow from a spider and screams. Jesse comes in to see what is wrong and she tells him that she saw a spider. He finds it and squashes it against the wall. Cambria asks to sleep in his room and notices the artifact that he took from Walter's house. She tells him that is called stealing. Kara arrives home late and as she tidies Cambria's room, the spider is watching her from under the bed. She puts some things in the attic and Cambria comes to see her. Kara tells her to sleep in her own bed, but Cambria asks her to check under her bed, which she does before leaving her alone. Kara takes more tablets before going to sleep. The next day, Jesse leaves his sister watching cartoons, while Jesse goes next door and returns the artifact to Walter. Walter jokes that he should call the sheriff. Walter tells him that he can't go around stealing things that don't belong to him, but Jesse asks if that is not what he does. Walter goes on to say that if you don't approach each situation respectfully and honorably, then there can be consequences. Kara is startled by a little boy while sitting in a cafe. She spills her coffee and is approached by the sheriff, who asks if she's okay. Kara passes it off as stress, but the sheriff recognizes that she is not normal. 
Walter takes Jesse to look at the broken egg. He asks him to clean each part and then attempt to put it together. Jesse asks about the markings, and Walter explains that it is the legend of the Dark Mother, an ancient spider goddess who lives in the darkness between the stars. There was a time that the people began to lose respect for her, so she emerged and stole the daughter of the village chief. The people made blood surrender to appease her in the belief that their crops would flourish and the village would thrive. As he tells the story, Cambria can hear a noise in the attic that she believes to be the cat. She goes to investigate and finds the dollhouse. As she looks inside, she finds something that she thinks are jewels and squishes them. She notices a doll in a cot and picks it up. All the time, the spider is watching. Carr arrives at Walter's and sends Jesse home to check on his sister. Cambria drops some dolls down from the attic and starts to climb down. The spider jumps on the hatch and she falls down. Jesse finds her laying on the dolls and Kara comes to look after her. Afterwards, she scolds her son for not looking after his sister properly, but he argues that it is, in fact, her job that she doesn't want to do. Kara storms away into her room and searches for more tablets. She takes the last one. Meanwhile, Walter has managed to piece the black egg back together. Later, Kara checks on Walter and steals some of his tablets. As she goes to leave, she drops them on the floor, and Walter questions why she's taking them. She yells at him for judging her, and he tells her that she only came here to run from her own problems. Jesse is listening over the baby monitor, and hears Kara telling Walter that she is stuck with her kids. He throws the monitor, and Walter tells her that her kids deserve a better mother before she leaves. Back at home, Jesse is in bed. Kara looks in on him before going to her own room and taking a tablet. Meanwhile, the spider emerges and climbs onto Walter's bed. He wakes to find that his foot has been bitten. He reaches for his painkillers and falls out of bed. He sees the spider and tries to crawl away into the bathroom. As he lays on the floor paralyzed, the spider descends from the ceiling towards him. Next day, Kara makes pancakes for breakfast. She tells the kids that she thinks it's not working with Walter and she plans to find another job in the town. Jesse storms out in anger and goes to see Walter. He discovers the mess in Walter's bedroom and follows the trail to the bathroom where he finds the deformed corpse. Kara is interviewed by the sheriff. She tells her about the break-in by Akiba and feels responsible for not reporting it. The sheriff sends her to be with her kids, but Jesse goes back in to see the sheriff. He tells her that he thinks that a spider killed Walter and relates the story of the spider goddess. She doesn't disbelieve him, but asks him to look for any evidence to back it up. She tells him that she has his back. He hugs her with gratitude. In the attic, the spider is massaging her egg sac. At dinner, Kara suggests holding a ceremony for Walter that weekend. Jesse suddenly blurts out that it was a spider that killed him. Cambria squeals with fear and runs away. Kara is angry, and when Jesse brings up Stevie's name, she slaps him and then goes to the bathroom to flush the remainder of the tablets. She finds one on the floor and leaves it in the cabinet. Jesse wakes in the night to find Cambria is missing. Kara also wakes and goes to check on her kids, but cannot find them. She has flashbacks to the accident that killed Stevie before she goes to the attic looking for them. She finds Jesse trying to cut his sister free from a spider's web. He instructs his mother to stay silent and points at the spider in a web nearby. The family tries to escape, but a flash of lightning reveals that this is only the shell of the beast. The actual spider leaps towards Kara, and its fangs pierce her skin. She falls to the floor as her kids call out for her. The spider climbs down from the attic, and they run away. Kara throws a lamp at it, and it scuttles out of the window. She checks her wound before returning to her kids and instructing Jesse to go and call the police. The sheriff is examining Akiba's body when she receives a call from Jesse, telling her that his mom is turning into a spider. She tells her subordinates to get there as soon as possible. Jesse brings a first aid kit to his mother, while Cambria goes to fetch a teddy bear, but the spider leaps at her. She is holding it off, but the fangs pierce her hand. Jesse boots it off of her and lays on the floor. Kara then takes Jesse's shirt and ties it around Cambria's arm to stop the poison from spreading. The spider starts to stir again, and Kara asks Jesse to take his sister to safety. Kara suddenly notices 
that the spider is gone. As Jesse tries to open the door, Cambria spots the spider coming down the chimney. He takes her to safety, but as the spider leaps at him, Kara is able to wrestle it from him and tears it apart with her hands. As Kara lays there dying, she sees the light and sees Stevie beckoning her forward. The sheriff arrives and asks her to hold on. Her children call out for her and Stevie turns back. Eventually, Kara regains consciousness in the ambulance and tells her kids that she loves them. Sometime later, the children are together, mourning their mother and wondering if she's with Stevie. In the doll's house, spiders start to hatch from the eggs. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.